Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. We're gonna to make a very cute design and this is another fun experiment. I'm, I've never seen the movie Totoro or that character, Totoro. <laughs> I think it's a Japanese um, car cartoon, or but it, it, there is a movie and I'm gonna watch it tonight. So I was thinking, why not try to make this character before watching the movie of you know the character Totoro. So what I do, and that's what I recommend you in this, um, this can happen to all of us if we're in an event and people ask ask you for a character that you don't know, you you know you heard, but you don't know about you know this character. So, or even you never heard about it. Okay, you just <laughs> even get asking how can you spell that non name, uh, and people can tell you and you can Google it. You can Google, you can use your cell phone, even when you're in an event, in case you feel like, yeah, this is a challenge, let's try it, let's see. So you type Totoro, and uh, there's gonna be, uh, go to images, okay? And you will see a lot of images. What I do, I go to Totoro, I, I type, you know, I go to on Google and type Totoro, or whatever I'm looking, you know, to see the image, I say Totoro, the name, the word, and then clip art and so that way i'm going to kind of like more drawing ideas meet me give it idea so i think it's easier for me to connect it to balloon style to make it into you know the drawing uh, out of balloons um so even you can look for different pictures and that's it's kind of maybe a little study and you can do this fast or you can take your time but um you just look images like this. Vroom, yes, look at all the images, and then your eyes, you know, are more used to. And that's my case to see everything in a balloon design. So whatever it looks more close to the idea to make it out of a balloon, use that images, and then start, you know, making your design using those images. So you see all those images there. It's just kind of like okay, details. You capture details. I see, like sometimes the images Totoro is serious. So the mouth is a little black dot, very small mouth. And in other ones, it's a smiley and they have the super big smile. So depending what you want to use, because the thing is, we never seen, I've never seen the pictures. You don't know about this character. So you better can, you know, kind of capture images and what repeats more or what is something constant in each picture. And one of those I noticed, one, the umbrella and then the leaves on top. I don't know why. We don't know why, but we can capture that to give it more details to your character, okay? And it's optional. You can always go to the basic, the most, you know, simple one with any uh, uh, leaf, with a, not umbrella, not even a smile, you know, just serious. That's the basic one. So you have choices and sometimes it's all what you feel like. You are feeling like to make it, you know, happy or, you know, more simple. So you play with that that's kind of the idea just like you are juggling with ideas and let's see what happens so this is my first attempt this, all these big introductions because so, sometimes i feel okay um this is a channel for tutorials but also to give you ideas how you know i make a character you know one thing is yes you use all the techniques that you already have because we've been practicing making different other characters other things that we use and discover techniques those techniques of the balloon twisting world, you can have it there as tools and then have to capture or have ideas. Use your creativity also to connect, you know, all the tools you have and make it, you know, uh, uh, this character. Again, there is different ways to make a character. So that's kind of also a fun thing. There is no oh, wrong or right. It's, you know, this is something that you just enjoy. You just enjoy and have fun and Look, I'm very happy with this. It's not exactly the same for me. I represent, and that's okay. If wanna, if I'm gonna make something more, you know, like, um, what is a word, impeccable or more, um, you know, close to the real character. It's not even real, but to the, uh, you know, original, you know, drawing or, or character. So you, it's gonna take much more time. And, you know, people have to understand, especially if you're an event and right away they ask you for something, it's like, you do your best. And this is my best <laughs> for this tutorial. And I love it. I'm happy. And there it goes. I'm going to show you. Ta -da -da -da. Look at this. Do you think it's adorable? It's like, who's the cat? 
that well that's what we're gonna make and this is how i represent it you can always change the design add more details check some details and make it yours um this is kind of uh because i never watched a movie but i know this character also is kind of popular it's have like a a, a culture about you know kuwai and this is always there kind of like hello kitty you know it's an icon for cuteness i guess <laughs> so for I, I hope you enjoy it and with this design, even if you know, nobody ever asked for this Totoro, this character, we're going to learn techniques because that's the cool thing. When you challenge yourself, you can discover new techniques or ways to connect balloons and make it. So let's do this. Again, this is, was my first attempt, so I'm going to go step by step. Let's start then. Uh, main goal for me. I'm trying to see how much a balloon can make, you know, to this character. So use less balloons as possible can be. Okay, that's kind of uh, I always kind of think about, especially because I'm thinking about this is going to be a tutorial and I have to use less balloons as I, I can. So what is this? And this is one of the things I was thinking. The belly. Uh, you, if you don't have this specific color, because I think this is the color, but it, only because I watch the images. Again, I haven't seen the movie yet. So uh, it's kind of like no white, no yellow in between. And I went with pastel yellow that it can be ivory. You can even try with blush and, you know, something there. And this other color is gray for the 260. So a uh, five inch round pastel color, you know, yellow will be awesome. You know, pastel color, ivory, five inch round. Now, how, when i going to get that colors? But I noticed a lot of animals, you know, have kind of this type of color. They don't go straight with white. They don't go straight, you know. So it can be a good idea to have this type of color, you know, for um, characters. But uh, if you don't have it, you can always, you know, if you don't have five inch rounds, you can use with a 350 or you can use this with a 260 and just make another or three of these levels. That's totally fine. I'm using a five inch round, but you can always try with white. The thing is, this is another color than the smile and the eyeballs. The eyeballs and the smile is white. And this is another color. Maybe you can try with blush. Blush five inch round is a more common balloon we can have, right? So that's the idea. If you have it in quick link or link balloon or linking balloon, a five inch linking balloon, even much faster. If it's not, we can always use that raising bin technique. Okay. I know, Cecilia, you haven't twist any balloon. Why are you talking and talking? You don't do anything because a lot of things. <laughs> I just wanted to share everything detail by detail. That's why this is a tutorial. I'm learning. I'm taking my time because it's good for you too. Trust me. You have a racing bean that, okay, this is a technique. Since I started the channel, it's a very cool one. It's a piece of balloon that I tied in a lot of times. And I have a lots of those already pre-made, you see? Because I know I'm going to use it. It can be at any moment creating something and I don't have a quick link. Oh, raising beam. Okay, and this only one. So you just put it only one here inside. Beep, 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 beep. Then you're going to inflate your five inch round. And you can, you don't have to, you know, like think, oh, I'm going to use it all. No, this is kind of like you inflate all just to make sure it doesn't have any hole. But then you lose the air. You lose the air until something like fits in the palm of your hands. A little bit bigger, a little bit, okay? Depending also, oh, Cecilia, depends how big is the palm of your hand. But um, my size, I should, I should get a, a size so I can give you the exact. And I have one of these. I have this. I use it this weekend for a rainbow arch. You can see it on my Instagram. So mm -hmm, approximately 4.5. Exactly, 4.5 inches round, okay? Something like that. Even four. Let's try four. Uh, mm, mm, four is too small. So, the, again, this is just you have an idea, okay? I do this. I don't take that big thing <laughs> to my gigs. So, it's all, you know, like, gaffa have an idea. Things can change my design. Then you make it a little bit slightly different. It's totally cool. Now, always I lose some air to make it soft and squishable. Why? Because that way it's going to be easier for me to grab the racing bin. This time, I'm tying like this. Not close to the nozzle, just like this. And then here, you're going to grab your racing bin. But when to do that? Okay. The thing is, you may think right now is a good idea, and you can do that. 
but i already kind of like was thinking how to do this how and there's many different ways and that's but i'm gonna make it that the first time I, I i made it and that's why how i think you know so i know here i want the connection so i'm two ways i'm gonna grab my first balloon to 60 gray i'm gonna blow it how much let's see something like four finger tail i'm gonna tighten now look i have this pull pass this around okay tighten and then from here because this is the bottom pretty much you're gonna start making the feet yes the the feet and also the tail because this cut in the back and there's a tail i'm not sure how big so i just make this it's like a pinch twist like a three or four finger bubble pinch twist okay because the back this is the back it's adorable i love it <laughs> okay what is this guy i don't know it's a cat it's a big giant cat i don't know i don't know what it is i will tell you after <laughs> i watch the movie so again like four actually look five finger tail okay then i'm gonna make a loop one feet so i'm gonna make three finger loop two ways twist 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 another uh three finger loop two ways twist 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 then you can also make another loop that is going to represent that tail or you can leave that to the end because you want sometimes i leave it to the end but i'm going to make like a two finger bubble pinch twist just not really the tail but it's something that is going to kind of help me to um, make the tail a little bit higher so what i'm going to do now and the tail i'm not making it only because first i want to make sure i have this done go up all the way to what is going to be the neck pretty much so this is how you're looking at go to it so oh, cecilia how long is this so look sometimes it's just i don't measure it i just go a, a core but it's like nine finger long okay because it's going kind of around this shape okay so i'm two twist 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 pass the nozzle the five inch one so look how i have it okay then i'm gonna go down one more time okay then with this i'm gonna make now the tail why now because i'm sure i already know these bubbles are here this pinch twist is in the bottom and now right here is where i want the tail so i'm gonna make it okay so i made the tail another three finger loop pretty much this i can cut now this can be an arm or two arms depends how long you want and so i'm gonna just cut pass this around first to lock things for a moment and then these i'm gonna tidy and see look when you lose in the air then it's not that long enough okay because my plan was lose some air and then split in half and you have two arms maybe you can do that i'm gonna give it more air and see but i think it's gonna be too tight you can try i'm gonna just and it, so that's make me think uh you will need to use the ceiling you wanted to use another balloon but i'm too cheap <laughs> i don't want to use another balloon so whatever i have here is split in half it's kind of a little bit tight but it's okay you just split in half and have this okay this is going to be the arms at the end sure if we don't like it if you don't like it we can go grab another balloon to 60 gray okay so far i'm going to leave it somewhere waiting because that is going to be we at the end pretty much now we have these make sure everything gets here uh, secure so you can just pull pass this around so remember you have kind of like i'm doing this way because also i'm experimenting and i like to experiment so you have the feet belly back tail okay so accommodate things the way you want it to be looking uh, you can do this all at the end it's totally fine now from here we're gonna go with the second balloon to 60 gray and this is something interesting that that's what i like about this cool technique is coming so pay attention inflate the balloon leave it approximately what is this five finger tail okay five finger tail oh man cecilia why you go too fast i went too fast because the thing is when you tie this maybe it would be a good idea to um leave some long tip here yes i'm gonna try and see what happened because i didn't do it this time let's see what happened so five finger bubble 
twist, 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 another five finger bubble, twist, 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 locked, bam, then you're going to make another one, let's go right away, make another one, five finger long, and another one, five finger long, okay, roll it, or pass it with a little nozzle you have there to secure things, okay, now from here, you're going to go, um, let me see, going to go, and we're going to make ears, okay, ears plus and i hope i have enough balloon to also whatever is left over with a squeeze stretch and it's going to be passing around this all whole thing yep this all whole thing like this let's see what happens so we are here you're going to make like no more than three finger bubble twist twist twist, twist. one finger bubble twist twist, twist twist two finger bubble twist 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 another two finger bubble twist twist twist, twist. one finger bubble twist twist, twist twist and three finger bubble once you see the different sizes you can make all one the same size if you want but this is kind of like the whole thing for me when you are here you kind of have to pass this through and it's a little bit tight but if you can pass this through like this pull, pass this all there it's locked there what yes <laughs> you're like what? what 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 okay you have this and now you can start you see the nozzle here of the you can use it to pull up pull in the middle pull make some pulling you know pass this around in the middle so this is gonna close that little cute ears and this is a very cool technique that's an you see this technique now we made it for other things and now we're making it for this it is totally cool now it's all locked there so you have ears and uh what is this friend that wanted to make Batman. This is a cool way to make a Batman too. So I know, uh, oh man, I have your name in the tip of my tongue. I always talk about you for the toy games, uh, balloon toy, balloon games, balloon toy entertainment. Cecilia, well, this is a way to make Batman. I know I have your request about Batman. I haven't made it. Sorry, it's cause you see, I'm, I'm not that good taking requests. I'm not that good, so that's what don't bother you <laughs> to send me requests probably sometimes i feel like i don't know what to do i'm gonna ask people what should i make and they make like everybody mm -hmm. i don't expect me really to make it sometimes i feel they might remember when i like when it's just more like let's see what happened today <laughs> and maybe i made it maybe i'm gonna make it maybe but it's nothing really 100 percent sure yeah it's easier that way Okay, so whatever you have here, you gonna squish, a stretch, okay, and this is a cool panel, another cool technique. You're gonna pass from here, like kind of like go all around in front of the belly, look, in front, like this, and kind of like play with the squishiness of the balloon, okay, and pull up all the way to the next ear. So, you have something like this, look how cool, how cute, so now, let me um, see, because sometimes I feel like just, you know, where are you? What are you doing? I don't know. Okay, so you have something like this, and here, you just kind of, kind of, by pulling, also you need to lose some air. But if you want to make it fast twist and hide this bubble in between in somewhere. But in my case, right now, I'm going to just lose some air, so things can be squishable. And then also I'm going to pull and pass this around here. Okay, pass it around there. Tie it if you want. Um, or just pull, pass this around. Now because bubbles are soft and squishable, I, I like that. Because if it's too tight, it may pop. You have to be careful. Nice and gentle. So then, everything is like Cecilia, but it's not that way. You accommodate things. You accommodate, but those are flexible. You can accommodate things the way you want okay like in my case like right now like look how i'm playing with this look how cool is this a squishing hiding in between you have something like this this technique can work for many other things because really when you make something think about all the things you can see and i see right now also an owl oh yeah i can see an owl but now these things these little bubbles here i'm gonna you're gonna make a pinch twist okay so grab it pull pinch twist Okay, so, and then again, grab it, pull, and pinch twist. And now you can always squeeze the bubbles and make it in the between. They're 
beautiful now this is a cute way again what are you looking at it can be many other things you can make this an owl totally or other things you think of oh, this maybe look cute for another thing okay so let's see look at this remember this piece now you can squish it and hide it in between how sociable this is the way i did it really i squid split in half and i really wish i can just use uh this but it kind of looks short let's see what happened i split in half a squish and pull and what is squishing in the middle and kind of like play with the force of bubbles in between um okay something like this now it's short it's still looking cute i like it to see that but that means it can come out anytime it pretty much can be out anytime if you pull hard you know there is a force but if you pull look pull pull harder much harder it's gonna come out so um that's something if you want to secure it you can use the five inch one because it's super long you can attach it and then attach that one but i like also the force between bubbles and the squishing part plus there's gonna be another balloon coming yes there's gonna be the nose and the this part umbrella or the leaves and then the umbrella so you can always reinforce that or also what you can do is you just pass it in between these two bubbles look this the, the five inch one and the bubbles from this back you can just pass it and that way it's no way it's coming out again i wish this would be much longer but that would mean i have to bring another balloon so i'm just passing it through Okay, just to, oh, kids are not gonna be able to take it out. And kind of a squish and play with that idea. Okay, squish, pull, and you will have something like this. Now, you like it or not, I don't know, you tell me. Okay, I like it, okay, I'm okay, I'm, I'm very, I like, I like upper damn, so cute, it's so cute, this, I don't know, I hope the light is making, you know, uh, something that you can see this okay and it's not ready yet my goodness oh, i love it okay you have this if you are thinking oh this took me forever okay just make sharpie time right now and you always consider that this is more simple i'm gonna use i'm gonna make the sharpie time so then you decide well that's the simple way i have these eyeballs labels five inch round labels and i think it's perfect for this character because their eyes are circle boom perfect now if you don't have this you have to use your white sharpie make a big circle and then wait to dry and then make that little dot on that black on the center but i have the sticker levels <laughs> so i'm gonna use it okay so i'm gonna take one where to get a sticker levels labels labels sticker round fine one inch you can find it on amazon type that one inch labels round circle and then you will see it okay um, now you just grab one and and try to make it separate as separate as possible so one is gonna go right here and the other one right there why because that's how the character looks like with you know separate eyeballs okay <laughs> if you don't have time you don't have to put a nose the way with a balloon uh pinch twist black here you can make it with your sharpie but i made it with this scrubs you know you can always especially when you're in events you have scrubs i do have my stripe. i have a special pocket or on the table scraps and i'm always black is there so this is just what you need you need a little scrub and make like a one single bubble but that nose is gonna be like a pink twist so no roundish more like horizontal like like this so you tie there, pan, and then the rest you cut. So you have something like this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's just the nose, and because it's already disconnected, you can connect all the way to the neck, okay? But you can always connect it up to the ears, and then also you can play with the connection of the leaf. But let's go one by one, okay? So you just put it in the middle. And I'm gonna connect it up and just pass it around. Remember, you can tie it, you can uh, just pass it around, whatever is practical or easy for you. There, nose. Now, 
um what else keep going with the sharpie if you want it with a big smile or serious this one i'm going to make a serious why because i wanted to show you the difference because the smile is just this look and them lines and serious will be just much easier just a line chip that's it i know what yep that's it and then here whiskers one two three one side and whiskers the other side one two three pretty much that's it now the center here as in a circle and just make sure you leave a white dot in the center uh like i'm gonna show you but uh something like that that's it look it's a very cute tutorial what another characteristic of this cute tutorial that chest or this belly cute part i have like look this three one two three and then one two three four something like this and if you want a little bit extra detail you can make it with something more um like this okay just make it uh, with the space in between you can color the space inside really but um if you have gray if you don't have gray just leave it this way i guess what else what another character uh if you think okay let's add it another extra little cute character a characteristic i mean so you can grab the leaf and the leaf can be a five inch one under inflated uh if you have or any balloon scrap green look i have this 350 balloon scrap and just like this this can be the representation of a leaf here have something there green a leaf yeah it's all you know also playing with um what i call you can even pop somewhere to give it a little bit more uh you know character if you want so pop and the half and tie there and something like this if you want because the thing is so how you want to represent things and then just attach it to the center with a, a five inch round a blush or what is the ivory and just there leave it there look how cute and how um kind of like an idea you know everything is just ideas 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 and there that's it hide if you want the white the i mean the, the yellow pastel hide it you want people to see it or if you if you don't care it's totally fine i'm just make it and leave it in this way okay i'm gonna leave it there people ask what is that oh you haven't seen the movie <laughs> because i don't know i just seen that in the in the in the what is and in, in google okay on google on google that's i know cecilia focus don't get distracted i know sometimes i get distracted very easily because i'm super excited and happy to share this with you and yeah so i'm gonna just leave it like the way it was before or only because why why cecilia why you got distracted because it made me feel like i can make that better but i'm gonna leave it this way look that's for me that represents again if you have a five inch round and they're inflated it's gonna be perfect i think okay now it's done well what is with sharpie look nails they have very cute nails just like this one two three and then the other side one two three simple simple it's just a little character a little uh detail and the same this way just kind of like nails one two three or just lines now what we're we gonna do with the umbrellas okay so you have that that's another little detail okay got it let's close sharpies i know just see this video is super long but i hope you enjoy it look you can always make this video much faster like blah, 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 and i'm gonna be you know youtube give you the choice speed but i know a lot of my subscribers sometimes ask me to go slow step by step take your time it's totally fine people want this to be fast just go forward you know <laughs> okay now 160 purple for the umbrella and this is the cool thing it's a detail that you can don't have it it's totally fine but if a kid say what the umbrella or someone that is super fan is like can you make it with umbrella because for some reason that's what it is in the character is have an umbrella and it's flying wee with the umbrella so and that's um what we're gonna use a 160 purple or it can be black or it can be any color but kind of like a dark green it's a dark purple i'm not sure that's what i saw in the cartoon well you know so i will see all the details and let you know 
<laughs> after tonight because tonight i'm gonna watch the movie for the first time now let's inflate this it's a 160 very cool balloon inflated six finger five finger tail okay always lose some air why because the balloon is going to be soft and stretchable plus it's going to be a space here to tie okay you have this now what else here you are going to make this cool way to make umbrellas you can make it with more balloons different color but this is kind of like the basic representation of an umbrella with balloons that i i know okay so you start with first like three finger bubble twist 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 then something much longer like probably you can try double if you want or you can just go with five so if this is three this is going to be kind of like five or six Cecilia, tell me the exact measurement, please. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Like, <laughs> it's hard. Come for me, let's see. Then I'm gonna go and um, uh, five. Okay, five or six. Okay. <laughs> Don't ask me specific, specific. I know that. I know I love Russians, you know, YouTubers making balloon tutorials because they have a ruler and they measure everything. But I'm not that person. <laughs> I just make it and I like it. <laughs> okay, I totally. I appreciate and enjoy. I'm a fan of all Russian balloon artists, Japanese balloon artists, you know, looking for perfection. And I love and admire that, but I'm not that. And I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. You see? Uh, I just uh, a happy balloon twist. <laughs> so you have this. You see, okay, what you did? Three finger bubble, six finger bubble, six finger bubble, three finger bubble. Connected together like a little diamond. And then we pull the little nutshell and pass this somewhere. And now what else? Repeat the same idea. Three finger bubble, six finger bubble, or something close and similar. And then pass it to here. You don't need to squish already if you don't want. You can just pass it or squish it in a minute like this. That's it. And then measure like six finger bubble. And then three finger bubble. And then go all the way to the center in the bottom. Or, and then grab your nasal. And that's going to help you to connect things. Now, things are looking good, but I want one more. And this is the cool, the cool one. The one you're going to make now are going to be the one that is going to be looking more to the sides to make this umbrella more like, wee, like this. Not like two square round. You're going to make it way longer like that. So how long you want this to be? Now is the moment to decide and think about it. You are in the middle there. Middle, pew. And now you measure here like three finger bubble, approximately the same. Or if you want a little bit longer. And then this is going to be much longer. Like in best, instead of six, it's going to be maybe eight or seven. Okay, it's, that's, that's what I recommend you. Okay, and then twist, 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 twist. And now you're going to do this thing. Pull, 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 pull. Pass this through, be nice and gentle. And squeeze the balloon. Oh man, if this happened to you, it's a bummer. But don't give up, you know, this can happen, especially these balloons I have are very old. Don't worry, grab another. Nothing happened, it's okay. You can, or you can make your whole drama. Oh man, I had it. Why did it happen to me? But you know, it's just an scene. We are, you know, like performing. You can do whatever you want. Yes, I just attached another balloon because it popped. You shouldn't, but it, it happens, so keep going. Never give up. When that happened to me and I'm with kids, I say that. Keep going, keep trying, never give up. This is the best part, you see, because I already know and I'm telling you. I'm just keep going, keep trying, and just make this much longer. Twist, twist, twist. And we're going to go to the moment that the balloon pop. How, why they pop? Well, I know my balloons are old, but I'm going to try to be more careful. More careful, okay? And pull and squish and pass it around and woohoo! We celebrate because... It worked. Now you have to make again this bubble long the other side. Okay? The other side. Pew. And so it's kind of like approximately eight finger long. So remember things doesn't have to be perfect. We're here to try and do our best and enjoy. Uh, because look, what I do, I enjoy balloon twisting. But most of all, the philosophy for me to you know bring happiness from the simpleness of what it is, you know, to to, okay, this is easy. You can be happy, smile, bring happiness to people with the magic of balloons. So now what you do here is make sure, yes, you have two shorts in the front, two shorts in the back, and the longest one we just make last and to the sides, right in the middle. So now when you are here, 
you need this type of uh what is uh jelly bean uh, jelly no jelly bean jellyfish <laughs> jellyfish to a little bit squish a little bit look at this look at that look at that how to do that you still have balloons even if this this didn't pop you will still have balloons so you're gonna go uh make sure you don't get things and twisted and that one that it's gonna be in the center i hope you can see this one in the center it's gonna measure like no more than three finger long okay and then you're gonna squish this down and try to grab it there and the same you're gonna go and make go back with the same idea so you were there and then go back it's totally fine and then make a small it's kind of pulling pulling the balloon and uh, to have this shape now let's just connect like a passing through a, one more time to lock things and then end up down you can make that even much short, shorter with a two finger bubble and that's going to be totally fun but for me it's totally okay this way i'm okay you're going to get that with something like this this is for me in my representation of an umbrella okay a little bit zoom this is my front this is the side this is the other the back so you notice the long bubbles how you know make this cool effect and that's what is something i wanted to share with you guys okay now from here what else well just you are here to ready to touch it but cecilia this cute guy doesn't have a space to work so you just grab the bubble that you feel you can make a little bubble to touch this with what so you want the umbrella here like this so now right there you're going to start making with this this part because you will have enough one finger bubble pinch twist another one finger bubble pinch twist and if you want another one finger bubble pinch twist just to have things more stable and then you have this um i think it's easier when you tie this part you're gonna do another cool technique that is grab the, the nuts and pull a little bit roll it a little bit and this is gonna help to be a little bit more flexible piece to make a little, little bubble okay um things that have to be perfect we're gonna try to do our best and then just making a little bubble uh, it would be great if the bubble were bigger but if that happened to you it's totally fine if you think cecilia this is pushing too much you can always and this is the thing we'll just have to play with what is possible grab the nozzle with this little tip uh, and just pull and pass it around in my case sometimes i think the little bubble is gonna help things more stable so let's see i'm just making a little bubble and then grab it and attach it with all those pinch twists couple to make them uh, look more stable okay again remember guys i'm just here trying to um show you ideas if it works for you great if it's not it's totally fine okay so now accommodate and this you know kind of you can cut it leaving here three finger long if you want just cut it okay even less if you want because there's not going to be really enough usually i just leave it because i'm just making with only one balloon so this umbrella can be holding this way make an angle at the end but it's always optional so you're going to end up with something like this now remember how the umbrella you want it to be looking the longest part you want it to be in the front to make it more look like umbrella look how cute is this awesome design i think it's adorable i love it and after watching the movie i'm gonna decide and then i'm gonna think oh mm, okay i can make some difference but um for now i'm gonna leave it there look things are representations you can make here if you want with a five inch round um gray a bigger bubble here to represent a bigger tail or more runnish but for me this is a representation to make things also practical because we are in the balloon world in a party uh, and you want things to be faster practical you have to learn and that's what i love about balloons you know you have to learn to remember cecilia be flexible practical don't frustrate if, you, if even if you know it doesn't look like you enjoy the moment try to do your best so don't forget that people also enjoy the moment when you are having fun really <laughs> it works it is that's what it is okay if people are not enjoying even that you are having fun and just and people are still not enjoying it's not really much your problem it's their problem that's it that's what it is and it's not bad that they but you never know what is in their mind what are the uh, you know the experience right now happening in their life so that's the good part just be nice gentle be kind <laughs> to each other because that's what it is too <laughs> very easy very basic right i hope i'm not forgetting anything i'm going to show you now both uh, uh, designs and the thing is you, you 
in one my arms were much longer which you see but also small it's cute short arms is adorable uh, the umbrella is bigger in this side this one is still much chubby but at the same time it's the same uh you can make the short time much bigger much smaller the eyeballs look if you make this people's gonna be like turtle if you make this people's gonna be turtle <laughs> it's the turtle no matter what okay so i hope you like it have fun and tell me in the comments don't forget to tag me because i would love to see you make this girl girl and um don't forget to tag me yes and any social media as at alpaca global and please please check out on the description of all my videos you will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel because thanks to collaboration this channel can be much better totally motivates me and it's a way that i can feel you are appreciating this channel this effort for me to have time to share what i discovered because I'm a balloon twister make, making balloons almost every day and you know just the effort to you know record think about all of you how to share it this time I really appreciate that you appreciate it and you can donate to this channel to me you know so I can get more balloons and I can you know it's it is how I like I like the idea of tipping I, I'm not charging this is free but I know a lot of you if you can collaborate your tips are very well appreciated uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh, bling bling jam! Don't forget, it's coming and it's getting closer. So, uh, trying to check out on the website, register. I know there is more people coming, so that's gonna be wonderful. I heard there is expanding, you know, the rooms for balloon classes. So uh, that is awesome. But the thing is, you should register if you're planning to go. As soon as you can, try to register because prices are much cheaper now. The event, the Bling Bling Jam, Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam, is in July 16th to July 20th. But there are good deals on pricing to pay the registration, even the hotel room to do your reservations. There is a special, you know, like code that we can have a discount and the hotel room where that convention is going to be, you know, happening. So go check out on the description there is always a, a way to contact the organizer that is a steve claim and he is in charge you know to tell you all more information if you have questions because i'm just here to invite you all because this year 2023 las vegas blooming is going to be the only convention i really planning already that i'll be there and i'm already telling and i hope you can make it so we can meet each other and we can jump <laughs> and we can as you can experience this good feeling you know when you know I start meeting and having friends that makes balloon and you all can jump together, you know. It's, it's just a very good feeling. I love it. Okie dokie. Have a wonderful day and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.